This is Flaz the Anti Gamer, and we're back. We are playing Nancy Drew, Danger by Design, and we're going to go ahead and talk to Minette. Okay. We have choices here left, right, up, right, up, left, or turn around. Well, there you are. Oh. I was just about to call Amy Brunhild and tell her Hi. that this internship thing she'd arranged for you was off. No. <laughs> just no. <laughs> Amy forcing you on me like this. The day I become financially independent and can tell people like her to buzz off will be the happiest day of my life. Well, you're here, we've met, so get to work. Heather did give you a list of chores, right? Yes, all set, but I want to ask Could a few I ask questions. You a couple of questions first. No, that's one nice. One more thing. See that form over there? The one I've just started to drape. Which one? Don't touch okay. it. Okay. Don't even go near it. That's the dress I'm designing for the first lady. Now all go. Right. Actually, make me a pot of my special tea first. It was custom really? blended by my tea therapist, so make sure you follow the directions. When you're done, pour me a cup and leave it on the table. A nice big boost of herbal energy never fails to get my brain cells firing. Alrighty then. Let's just look at everything else first. Okay, we can't check this out or that. What's this? And this is actually something we can look at. Minette the mask. Or Minette the mask. Okay, I'm not going to read this, so if you actually want to read this then feel free and pause the video here but I am going to go con and continue oh this is Cardia or whatever she's the one like mm, rude anyway like okay well, let, me, let me open that again I'm gonna l let you pause it here also if you want to read it and all right let's see to make minette her tea <sighs> wow. the first thing i should do is read these instructions then i should put whichever herbs the instructions say i need into this pot of boiling water then when i'm done i should click on the teapot so i can pour the tea into a cup if i make a mistake and need to throw out an herb that i chose or the tea itself all i have to do is click on the sink okay i think i'm ready Alright, alrighty then. Now, I just want to ask you guys that, do you say herb or herb? Like variation one, herb, which you actually s hear the H, or variation two, herb, where you don't hear the H. Comment it down in the comment section, I really am curious who says what, really. Okay, after a painstaking analysis of her body type, age, mood swings, eating habits and lifestyle, I have formulated the following blend for Minette and for Minette only. Please note, the consequences of anyone but Minette drinking this tea could be catas catastrophic. If the tea is blended correctly, it will have a pleasant taste and an instant soothing effect. If made incorrectly, it will taste foul and have a negative effect on mood. Therefore. The guidelines below must be strictly adhered to. Alright. Always have the following herbs on hand. Blah 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 blah. I'm assuming we're having I'm assuming we already have them all. If Minette has had a temper tantrum in the last 14 days, and if she declares that blue is her favorite color on the table. Excuse me, Minette, but what's your favorite color? Red. Okay, that's lucky enough for us. Add the following herbs to a pot of boiling water when the condition is met. Okay, so this no. I don't think she's very relaxed because she is trying to meet a deadline of the the first lady. And if she is she right-handed, I have to check that. And is she if she is wearing a dress. I'll work on this later. Yep, later. Hmm, I can touch it. Okay, okay. So let's go in puzzle mode. I want that tea, Nancy. So she's right-handed, yep. 
And she's not wearing a dress, so that's alright. So let's go and check this out. So, so she is right-handed. So of the Gary form family. And she's not we wearing a dress. to pick a number between 1 and 10. If Manette chooses an odd number on the day the tea is to be consumed. Manette, could you please pick a number between 1 and 10? 10. Alright then, we, she's not humming and this does not go true because it's blue and odd numbers. Okay, her favorite color is red, so marshy areas, okay. So do we have information? Okay, we do. So. Let me check this cafe form. Kaikula and Fenellery. Let's see. Mm. Alright. What else? No, 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 yes, hug bone. And the yellow buttons. Hug bone. And yellow buttons. Alright. Let's go back. Okay, so potency of seven or greater. Six, ten, volume, calicula, gibbering. I don't know if we have to do them twice, now let's see. Volume, calicula, gibbering. Wait, one bag. Gibbering no. Hook bone again. Macrophilia. And Figuria. So hook bone. Macrophilia. And Phyphilia. Or this was whatever this is. Okay. Pip sweet. And that's it. Pip sweet. Okay, 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 okay. So marshy areas. Okay, so this is a marshy brilliant. I guess the dense low growth is also marshy. Anyway, so Breland, Vanillary. And actually, no, I don't think Vanillary is actually in the marshy area, so that's still Breland. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. No, Varvain. Okay, so Breland and Varvain. Breland. And Varvain, which is here. Okay, let's there. see if that's right. I finished making your tea. Just leave it there. Look at all the steam. Okay, we leave it there and we go out, I guess. Nancy, come back here. And we did it right. Oh, right. Is that's okay. Utterly rude. I can <sighs> already feel my creativity flowing again, building like a wave on the ocean, surging towards some unseen shore. I have another job for you. A very critical job. See the stuff that I've been studying? That, in essence, is my spring collection. Uh-huh. Interesting. All those objects have certain things in common which speak to and stimulate the artistic sinews of my subconscious, from which all the designs I need will eventually burst forth. Uh-huh. <laughs> they're all totally ruined, uh -huh. but they're not uh -huh. enough. Uh -huh. I need more, Nancy. 
You need to take the number 7 metro to Pont Neuf. Go to the flea market in Square de Vergalant Park and buy me four more things with qualities identical to the ones each of these possesses. Use this bag. Put everything in there as soon as you buy it. I don't want anyone seeing what you bring me. It could give away my whole collection. Sure. As if. Anyway, this is actually a nice look looking bag. And we have money. Okay, I'm not sure what but she I'm wants. I'm not sure what you want. Stuff. I want oh my stuff. Gosh. New stuff that's just like this old stuff, only different. Now just take a good look at my stuff, then go. Go! Okay, bye. See you. I don't stay here any longer, so... I mean, just look at this. Interesting material. You're not touching that, are you? No. I was just looking. <laughs> what kind of material is this? It's a brand new blend. Doesn't even have a name yet. Don't you have work to do? Mm. Just curious. Yeah, curious, you know? Don't hate Nancy just because she's curious. It's just not fair. Okay, let's go buy the material. Um, where did she go? Tell us to go? Pont Neuf, right? Alright. So we should be able to get there. And I have no idea where we are. La mem à la mémoire des forces francesis combinates. To the memory of the French fighters. Okay, that makes a bit more sense than what I just said. A lot more sense, actually. Let's just look at everything. Press the button. Hmm, that's nice. Again. Wait, is the eye glowing and is the fish spurting water out of his eye? That's strange. Anyway. She gave us money. Oh wow, she gave us... Wait. 20 euro. That's quite a lot, actually. So that means we should be able to spend only 20 euro. What's this? No, it's something. Okay. It's kind of loud. Wait, let me look at this. I like this art. It's nice. It's funny that they should have it in the game. What's this? Bonjour. Lequel préférez-vous? Parlez-vous anglais? Um. Bye. I speak whatever you like. I see you over there at the monument with the cross of Lorraine. You are a tourist? Yes. Actually, I have a job here in Paris, but it's only temporary. So I guess I'm kind of a tourist. Tourists are good. I welcome tourists. <laughs> I am Malika. I sell fine things from around the world. The others who sell here, they sell things which they pry from the muck of their basements. Are you sure? Do you see something you like? Well... Mm. No. No, guess bye. I'm just not in a buying mood. When you come back, maybe then I have what you like. I'll remember that. Merci. Au revoir. Au revoir. I really don't like her, but anyway. I think we're supposed to ga buy something from that guy. Or... Wait, are we supposed to choose from all these people? Bonjour, mademoiselle. If you like the bargains, you have come to the right place. Oh, what no. captures the eyes? Well... Nothing. Actually, I don't see anything else. Here, new things come and old things go all the time. You must come back. I might just do that. Au revoir. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Oh no. I thought there was only one guy. But there isn't. Uh, anyway, let's try and find something. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Monsieur Marchand, at votre service. Bonjour, monsieur Marchand. American tourist? Sort of. Is that okay? I like Americans. They are smart. I sell good stuff and they can tell. So, <laughs> what are you going to buy? Well... I'm thinking of this. She already has one like this but in red. You're selling a manhole cover? It is a genuine Parisian manhole cover. One which would make a fine souvenir for someone back home. Ooh, and let's bargain. It's yellow but I think one euro is plenty. Wow. I'll say 23. What would you say to 23 euros? Vendu. What else? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
All right, that's one. How many things do we need? I don't want to buy anything right now. By any chance, does Mademoiselle so have no to earn some money? Maybe. How? The tourists, uh, they like to buy hand-painted reproductions of famous works of art. But as you can see, it is difficult for me to paint them. But for a young woman such as you, it is easy. No. You want me to paint the reproductions? You see, the lines are already there. You look at the original painting, you put paint on your brush, you paint between the lines, voila! A painting which the tourists will gobble up. And I pay you 15 euro for each one you complete. Do you wish to start now? Maybe later, because I think that Nancy is actually doing some reproductions, you know, like illegal no, stuff. Maybe but anyway. Very well. Au revoir, mademoiselle. It's good to make Au money. Revoir. But still illegal. <laughs> and wow, but anyway. I don't know how many things we need, but anyway. You cannot stay away. This is good. What do you like? Hmm. Um, not so much from here. Guess I'm just not in a buying mood. Next time I have what you want. Sounds sure. good. Au revoir. Au revoir. Oh, I really don't know what to get from here. Uh, it looks like everything was metallic. Yes, I'm t like. Bonjour, okay. mademoiselle. What captures their eyes this time? Well, let's see. Something old. What like is this? this? That is as close to a magic wand as you will ever find outside of a fairy tales. It was crafted by a magician who is said to have given it true magical powers. This is why for it I ask 85 euro. No. No way. I'll pay you 21 euros for it. It is yours. The bargaining see goes to Nancy. Like? The bargaining Actually, I don't person. See anything else. The Come bargaining trophy Perhaps goes to Nancy. Scenes. Okay. Au just au <laughs> 21 au euros for something which is supposed to be 85. And it's super expensive too. Okay. Bonjour, mademoiselle. What do you wish to buy? I want to try... No, let's well, see. Well, let's see. What's in here? A movie? Oui, it contains an American short film. I'm not sure if it is about the beloved beast of burden in Tibet or about someone who talks a lot, but it has won many awards. And the fact that it is in a nice blue canister makes it well worth 84 euro. Yeah, not really. <laughs> I'm gonna just. Go I'm not gonna pay euro because it's actual film. Would you take 21 euros instead? Vendu. Oh, okay. Else Nothing else. No, no, no. I really don't want to buy anything right now. I get new things all the time. You must come back. I may just do that. Goodbye. Au revoir. Bye. <sighs> okay. I hope there isn't any more stands around here. But I think we can leave. I think that basically all. Minette wants, or me, Net wants his junk, uh -oh. really. Dad made me promise not to go anywhere by myself after dark. It's already this eight. Have to wait until tomorrow. Wow, it's late. Okay, this is our hotel, I'm guessing. I'm doing nothing, by the way. I'm absolutely doing, not doing a thing. Day two. Hi, JJ Lee. Oh, hi. I shake your hand, but I get flour all over you. Oh, and Heather called and told me about your luggage? No worries. I have plenty of clothes in every size imaginable. Your bedroom's down that hall. The airline lost my luggage once, told me it was gone for good and paid me a hundred dollars. Then five years later, my suitcase shows up on my doorstep. And a bill for the hundred dollars they'd paid me. Plus interest. Wait. Does that mean that she paid? Or I mean she got the money or she has to pay them back? I think she has to, she has to pay more, but anyway. It showed up five years later. What? You don't believe me? I just go with nice, nice Nancy with her for now. Of course I do. The worst part was I had to toss out almost everything that was in it. Clothes, makeup. I mean the stuff was five years old, right? You like chocolate chip cookies? Yes. Yes, I do. I love chocolate chip cookies. So do I. 
And the nice thing is, I'm about three pounds shy of being the perfect size 12 that I need to be for Minette. I have a Great. very high metabolism. So, I make cookies, I eat cookies, and since you're here, I share cookies. Yes! Yes! We get cookies! Yes! Hallelujah! Um, does anyone else live here? Okay, think of anyone. Heather wants me to pick up Heather an envelope. Heather wants me to pick up an envelope from you? Oh yeah, it's right over there. Heather needed a bunch of personal information so they can pay me. But I refuse to give it out over the phone. I'm real paranoid about that sort of stuff. Don't ask me why, I just am. Go ahead and take it to her. Alright. That's one part of the jobs we have to do. Why does Manette want you to be a size 12? Contractually, I have to be a size 12. See, Manette is into curves, so she designs clothes for full-figured curvy women. Because I signed on to be a fitting model, I have to maintain the ideal size 12 weight and shape. What's a fitting model? A fitting model puts on samples from a designer's oh, latest line, so the designer knew, can I know what that each means, piece but... on a real live person instead of a dress form. It's not very exciting. In fact, it's totally boring. Plus, you're always getting stabbed with pins. But it pays the bills. Yeah, but I thought it meant like a fitting model. If you fit, usually you have to be thin, but I guess not. I mean, I know it's like a proto um, stereotype, but still, like. I, she still has to lose all that weight eventually, right? Anyway. Does anyone else live here? Nope, it's just me. And you now. Managed to get a short term lease. Soon Lucky as I'm done being Minette's fitting model, I am out of here. See Can you think of anyone who might be out to get Minette? Well, Dieter, obviously. Dieter I still don't know who he is. Kronk? He and Minette went out for about six months. Then all of a sudden, last April, Minette dumped him. Just tossed him aside like last month's edition of Vogue. Was he angry? You'd have to ask him. Just watch out when you're in that photographic studio of his. He lets his pet boa constrictor slither around loose in there. He has really? a pet boa constrictor? That's what I said. Don't you believe me? Mm. Well, no, I, but I guess. Nice Nancy is here. About it. I think it may be illegal. I if see. you happen to be oh in there, gosh. be careful. Liar alert. Liar alert. Anyway. Yes, I'll be running along. Ciao, Bella. Hey, that's Italian. I know that. Alright. Can we go here? Okay. Oh, wow. I'm. Do we really need this? If you want to, like, read it, go ahead and read it. I'll just, just pause it here or something. But I'm not going to read every single one. Something about tunnels. Uh, if it's longer than two pages, then you know that you have to see it again. Okay, um, however, he willingly gives out his phone number. Yeah. Is it 0101614560? His confidence cannot be traced. Okay, I guess that's the only important part. Okay, I don't want to phone anyone for now. I do want to. Just check out the room. I'm not sure which part is going is going out of the Oh this is news. Okay. Top story. Local mint grows. I'm happy with the fact that mint prices have fallen. Wait, this is about mint? Okay. That's nice that they have this. Falling to fifteen a kilogram and are attempting to drive prices back up with by withholding and sometimes destroying their harvests. As a result, French mint is in short supply in Paris, and both professional and amateur chefs alike have taken notice. Not surprisingly, a black market for mint sprang up almost as soon as supply started to dwindle. Enterprising vendors do a thriving business in local parks on and on street corners, sometimes charging 5 euros for a single sprig. Alright, I think that's all I'm going to read out of that. Add a pinch of mint to everything. Yeah, of course, because it's more expensive. Oh, now we have 130 euros. Thank God that Nancy is the bargainer. 
or thank gosh. Okay, nothing here it seems. Oh, more news. Uh, usually wet summer has caused the water damage in a record number of homes throughout Paris and the vicinity. More than 300 millimeters of rain have fallen in the area since June 1st, almost twice the average amount resulting in hundreds of complaints to the sewer district. There's not really much we can do, said the district director Pierre Rubin. The system can only handle so much rain water. When our maximums are exceeded, the water, extra water seeps into the ground and unfortunately makes its way into people's basements. Alright. Ne newspapers everywhere. Okay, fine, this is a good place to stop, so if you are enjoying the series, feel free, free to subscribe. I will be playing the rest of the Nancy Drew games. And this is... I will play also way more different types of games, but for now, this is Flash the Anti-Gamer, over and out.